AIG's been around now for 30 years and uh, over the last particularly eight years has grown rapidly to be one of the major international oil and gas exhibitions and conferences in the world and certainly the largest oil and gas event in Australia. And the markets changed over, over that time, the shows had to evolve with it, so we listened to industry and uh, we like the show to represent and reflect what's happening in the industry at the time. So, uh, for instance, the conference has really evolved over that time. Subseas become a really major issue. Um, a lot of the major developments now are, are using a lot of subsea hardware and systems. And so the conference has evolved to feature subsea. And we're working very closely with some uh, partners, uh, the Society for, the Underwater, for Underwater Technology, Subsea Energy Australia and Subsea UK. Um, so also the, the show floor itself represents, you know, a lot of the subsea uh, technology companies are there. Um, we've also got health and safety as a large area, education, training and research. And more recently, instrumentation, control and automation and uh, a zone for non-destructive testing and condition monitoring. So yeah, it's really a matter of keeping the ear to the ground and uh, working with the right advisory boards, working very closely with the Western Australian Government particularly the Department of Commerce and the City of Perth. And it's really keeping our ear to the ground and uh, getting the right people to, to assist us to find the right content to feature at the show. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you know, today we're at the uh, East Africa Oil and Gas uh, Conference, Australia, and uh, we will be partnering with the organisers of this event to uh, host a Africa Oil and Gas Conference. Uh, alongside or in conjunction with AOG. So that's scheduled for March the 10th and that'll be the day on the eve of AOG. Um, so th this conference is all about East Africa, um, but we've uh, agreed to broaden that concept to really start looking at all the other emerging nations in Africa that have uh, some good oil and gas uh, opportunities. Yeah, it, it has, it's excellent. Yeah, we've, uh, we, we, you know, pretty much sold out of the show. Uh, we've got some, you know, a little bit of space left, so it's really selling uh, exceptionally well. Some great companies coming on, on in. Uh, we've expanded the space as well, so we've uh, expanded into uh, more space on level two of the convention center. So basically we're taking up the entire venue, um, either with conferences um, or events or, or exhibition space. Oh, at least doubled. Yeah, it's, it's, it'd be closer to tripled in size now over the last uh, 10 years. Yeah. And, uh, you know, now we're featuring over 600 exhibitors right. um, and very international event. You know, 100, uh, about 150 of those are from overseas. We get a lot of international visitors and delegates as well. So we're expecting about 18,000 attendees in total uh, over the three uh, days of the event. So it's going to be huge. It'll be an enormous show. Look, uh, this industry loves to network. The oil and gas industry, uh, so much business happens uh, through networking. So AOG has also evolved into lots of different networking events so people can get together, uh, renew friendships, uh, meet new people. Um, we've got the official dinner, uh, the opening party, the subsea welcome drinks, um, and a new event that we had this year, AOG Women, that's going to grow by about 50% as well. Um, so we're constantly on the lookout for new events uh, that uh, the industry will want to participate in.